Hello. So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with episode 3 of The Essentials and today we are covering Flak. If you've missed the two episodes before, they are also on my YouTube. But today's episode is about Flak and it's going to be what are the best items and weapons we can take in to that raid boss, meaning that we don't have to return to Sanctuary and waste an attempt. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week. And otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So first up, let's talk about the build itself. The build itself is Renegade Flak. Now, I do have a more powerful build, or what was previously a more powerful build, in Stabity Flak, or even Fishrack Flak. But I've chosen Renegade Flak for this particular attempt on the raid boss, because I just feel like with the recent nerf to White Elephant and to the Fish Slap, we might lack a little bit of damage. And the one thing that Renegade Flak does not actually lack is actual damage so we're going to go with renegade flak it's on my youtube we'll put a link in the description below this is the one that we're going to use so renegade flak is a stack bot build so with that in mind expect to see consecutive hits pearl of irreparable knowledge and just pure a damage build expect to just delete enemies this build deletes anything in the game within seconds so i'm really hoping that it has enough damage to a kill the boss and b we have enough ammunition to get the job done so let's start on the equipment then so the first up we have a light showing consecutive hits consecutive hits is the one that i'm probably going to go with here there is an option for next two magazines but i want to be carrying damage while my action skill is up and therefore consecutive hits is the one that i'm going to choose here i have a reflux for mobbing now the reflux is exceptionally good for mobbing with its chaining effect and again as we've mentioned in the previous couple of videos we could see a number of ads around this raid boss and the reflux will be really good for killing more than one enemy at once then the daddy of the damage now i've gone for a consecutive hit monarch here in kinetic now i really like kinetic because it has no strengths but it also has no weaknesses so whatever this raid boss's bar comes up as will be able to do a considerable amount of damage to it now it may be that i have a couple of other monarchs on me you know a certain element or something like that but at the moment i'm going with just kinetic then i have a hellwalker with me for a bit of a mixture so the plan here is that realistically i'm hoping that i'll be able to chew through some main chunks of the boss with actual the monarch and doing actual damage and then i'll be able to switch to the hellwalker to maybe kill some random enemies that are around as well so i'm not using the same ammo type for absolutely everything and therefore increasing my chances of actually running out of ammunition mid fight next i've gone for the surge plus ultra here i wanted that little bit of health as well as the chance that this one has an absorb and it actually puts out a nova as well so it's a really really nice shield and i also wanted that asc for when i'm out of action skill for those brief moments i want that extra little damage as well as adding a little bit of an elemental mix then we move on to the stack bot now the stack bot isn't necessarily the con that you need to have for this build i use it and i use gorillas in the mist which you know for burst damage works really really well for what i want to do the role that we have on this stack bot is nice we have weapon damage and assault rifle damage as well as reload speed so it works really well for the monarch but there are plenty of comms that you could use for bossing and mobbing it's just when i'm doing damage to a big chunky target that won't necessarily move so much this is what i like to use then of course we're going to have the pearl of ineffable knowledge with magazine size and fire rate and finally i'm going to have an it's piss grenade to just throw periodically to get that debuff on the boss so we can do extra damage so as i said before guys this is a classic stack box build and therefore we have some alternatives in our backpack to maybe switch things up if need be so first thing you will notice in this backpack i will be carrying as a little bit of urad items with us now the reason for this is is for whatever reason we can't do enough damage to the boss and i very much doubt that but if we can't do enough damage to the boss i have a front loader with me and a different calm set and everything with me so we can flip this one of the really strong things about flak is you don't really need to respect that often to really change the build around and still do an exceptional amount of damage so with that in mind we have a urad prompt critical here and a 200 percent splash damage prompt critical if we were to split to rack attack for example this second prompt critical would work really nice i have another couple as you can tell i am a big fan 
of the prompt critical, particularly on flag, which can make everything crit. Then we have a Tizzy with consecutive hits and a Light Show with ASC weapon damage. I have a Maggie because Maggie comes with me everywhere. We have a Hellshock for having the ability to switch between elements if we need to. Then I love the Kaozen, just one of my favorite weapons. So we have a Kaozen here and of course a King's Call, but I will have a better anointment than this. Just remember as well, as you'll see here, I am mixing up the ammo types as well because there is the potential that although we are carrying a cup purse launch pad, you don't really want to be messing around with that and you might not be alone, so you can't pause the game. And then we have a blood starved beast and a flipper here. The flipper is probably going to make its way onto my loadout. At the moment, I have two shotguns in here, so I probably will move the flipper maybe in place of the hellwalker for now, but I will see how that goes. I have another monarch and another plasma coil here just for, you know, Plasma Core being one of the best guns in the game. I have a Boom Sickle, a Hail, and a Double Corrosive Reflux. Now, traditionally, the Varkis Badasses are usually armor, so if we have a ton of Badasses around this raid boss, this Reflux should do very well. I have a Urad Skull Smasher here, in case I need to, again, for some ammo redistribution. And then we move on to the Shield. So we have a Action Skill Start Frozen Heart. This Shield was really close to being into my slots because it just freezes enemies around us, meaning that we can hit for serious damage really fast in our bursts when we're in our actual action skill and works really well. I have an old god here because you always carry an old god with you. I have a front loader here to give me the ability to go into Urad if I need to. I have a recurring hex and then I go into the comms. So as you can see here, I have some dead eye comms. I have another stack bot comm. We have a red fang in case we're taking too much damage. We have a rack pack just covering all the bases because again, Flack has the ability to switch around his build without having to switch too much of his skills. So we will be effective if we want to switch things around. I will be carrying a face puncher with me to take advantage of the groundbreaker guardian rank perk. So I'm going to like a Firestone White Elephant or something like that with me is nice. And of course we have a cut purse launch pad. Now there are going to be times where we probably will run out of ammunition with this build. So having a cut purse launch pad will solve a lot of these problems. We don't know where we're going to pick up ammo within the Braid boss fight. So it's always best to have a cut purse launch pad with us. So there you have it guys. There are the items that I'm going to take through in my flak build. Now I do have other flak builds that would take other items with us. However, this is the one I'm going to take into the raid bus. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch. We stream five times a week. Don't forget, we have one more episode, which will come out in a couple of days, which is Amara. And otherwise, guys, I'll catch you on the flip.